Hello, hello, hello. I don't know why I say that three times every time I come on. <laughs> Welcome to the Shabby Chic Vintage Chick page. My name is Angie and I'm in the beautiful Rideau Lakes, Ontario. And tonight we're going to be working on this baby. We've got the bicycle and the new tag, guys. And I'm going to use it with the Chalk Couture Transfer of the Month. I think they call it the Club Couture. I don't sell it. I just love it. Um, it's actually my daughter's transfer, but I borrowed it as soon as she got it. So on the website, I believe they're up. I hope I put them up. I believe they're up. <laughs> the tags, I, I'm pretty sure I put them up today. Hello, welcome. As you're jumping on, guys, do like a Sarah just did and uh, make sure you say hi. You don't have to do the compliments, but I'll take them. Um... We're going to be working on the new scallop tag that we just put on the website. And we're going to be working with the bicycle. All right. So make sure as you're jumping on, if you see that little, oops, up there, the red light, that would be a hashtag live. If it's not there, give me a hashtag replay. Feel free to jump in on the conversation, even if you're on the replay, because I do go back and I read the comments, you know, at least once, maybe twice. <laughs> so welcome, welcome. So tonight I'm going to start out with using um, Country Chic Paint. Oops, where's the label? Where's the label? My hand's over it. Uh, Country Chic Paints. We sell them here on the website. It's a chalk mineral paint. This one is called Lazy Linen. It's like the slightest bit of gray. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to grab a brush and I'm going to give it a light mist. It just helps the Country Chic paint go on a little smoother and last a little longer. I also like to give my board sometimes just a little extra wipe, or wipe, a spritz down. Just helps it glide. Hi, Tina. And I'm just going to apply my paint. Can you guys see that it's a gray and it's not a white? Sometimes the lighting doesn't show very well. That's why it's kind of dark tonight in the room. I wanted the colors to, to pop for you. So what's everybody up to today? Are we having a good day? It was nice and warm here. Hun, do you know what the temperature was today? No? Warm? <laughs> Things were melting, I know that. Plus three or four, okay. We'll take it. Anything above the zero. What was it like in your area? Oh, I can call you Izzy, okay. I'll try and remember that. Hello and welcome. Welcome back, Karen. You placed an order today, right? I believe that's what Brittany said. I was busy loading stuff to the website. I wasn't really checking the orders, but Brittany calls me every time there's an order. I think you were the one, right, that ordered, um, I'm assuming it's you, three of the uh, Mickey Mouse grab bags. Am I right? If not, you've got some competition on the Mickey stuff there. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Did you have a good day today, Cheryl? How's your reno going? This is called Lazy Linen. It's the lightest of the gray. You did order one? Okay. I'll be filling those orders, starting them tomorrow, and working on them over the weekend. Hopefully get them out on Monday. Deborah's got an order that was supposed to go out the door. I don't know if Deborah's on yet tonight. Um, she's got one that was supposed to go out the door today, but then she placed a second order. So to save her on shipping, I, I messaged her and I said, do you want me to hold off just for one day and I can get your other order done and get them both out on the same time? and then I just reimburse her the money. We don't want to pay the shipping more than we have to. 
just to let you know if anyone else does that. If I can catch it in time before it's all sealed up, I try to save you some cash. Yes, and I got your order too. I haven't even taken a look at that yet, Tina. I just saw two pictures and I was like, okay, I'll start on that one. Oh, you had to go to Moose Jaw for that. Wow. Sorry, just dropped my dryer on the floor over there. So I'm just gonna dry this up. I can't wait to see that room when it's done. Cheryl's working on a new craft room. Yeah, you're talking about those, um, the bagpipe and the pipe and the uh, flute. You'll definitely get those in with the, with the gnomes if you order the gnomes. Absolutely. Everybody that orders them from now on, I'll just put those in. Oh, you can't wait either. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I'm feeling around and looking around. Hoping I've got my fuzzing cloth. I think I see it. There we go. Seems like everything's on the floor tonight. All right, before I go ahead and I... I wish I had a clean one of those. Do I have a clean yellow? Just a second. I'm just going to change out my my Velcro strip on my sanding thing because it had a little bit of red on there and I don't want to pick up that pinky color through my gray. Oh, <gasps> you got the wheelbarrow too? Isn't that cute? Did Brittany go live today? If she did, I missed it. But uh, there's a little surprise that comes in with that wheelbarrow, Karen, that you're going to love. She likes the what? Tray on the floor <laughs> That's my rustic tear tray. Um, it has, it's actually deeper, but I had to make inserts for it because I found everything sunk down a little too low in it. It was uh, purchased off Amazon. If she did, you missed it as well. She might not have. I know she was busy today. But there is a little surprise that's going in with those wagons. All right, so we've just got a light sanding on that. So you can still see the wood grain through it, which I like that rustic look. If you don't want to see the wood grain, you would put a second coat of paint on. Tina or the wheelbarrow too, all right. You'll get that little surprise as well. And then I'm gonna grab my monthly transfer. Not mine, Brittany's. If you happen to be sharing this out on your page, guys, and uh, you are a chalk couture designer, make sure you go back afterwards and in the description up above on your share, put the link to your uh, chalk couture so that people know where to get this transfer. I personally do not sell chalk couture. My daughter does that works for me, works with me, works for me guess works for me. Um, so that's whose transfer I'm using. And I think I'm going to go up uh, quite high with it. And make sure it's straight. Now we purposely made this tag for this um, transfer. As soon as I saw the transfer. I was already working on bicycle stuff for spring and I was like, oh my gosh. So we kind of made it to match with that same scalloped edge. Um, but it'll work for like anything. It's just a very cute design as opposed to the very straight cornered ones. 
So you just rub your hand over it, make sure you got all the bubbles out, and then you make sure you have chalk paste. Oh, I do. There's a little concern there. I think I missed something there, but I'll check on it later. If I miss any of the comments, I do apologize. I do go back and read them after, though, guys. So I'm just going to have to give it a little spritz of water. I am still using the old recipe of um, chalk paste. They've come out with a new creamy, dreamy one. Actually, it's probably not that new. It's probably like a year now that they've had the creamy, dreamy out. Maybe longer. Um, but... I don't like to waste, so I'm still using mine, even though it's getting a little thick, a little chunky, but it'll still be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and just pick up the scalloped edge. That's all that I want. at this point. I'll use a little more later, but when you saw this transfer, did you have a song that popped into your head? Every time I look at it, I think of that song. Who knows the song? Can anyone guess what silly song is running through my head? I really don't even know who sings it, so. Something. Take the long way home. Don't make me sing it for you. You guys will just jump off right away. Izzy says Super Tramp. Super Tramp. Okay. <laughs> Izzy's a mind reader for all of you that uh, didn't know. All right, so that's where I'm going to start off with. And then I'm going to figure out where I want my bicycle to go. The bicycle comes in all the little pieces, which I love because it adds dimension. We've got the bicycle, we've got a seat, we've got baskets, we've got a little handle grip, we've got the, the little pedal. I'm just going to try and decide exactly where I want things before I go ahead. So just bear with me for a minute. I'm just lying it back down on my backer sheet so that the black that is on there doesn't go through and mess up my background. So I'm just going to make sure it's stuck right onto that backer sheet again. And guys, for those of you that don't know about Chalk Couture, they are reusable silk screen transfers. It's like a stencil, only instead of a hole, there's a silk screen in it. And uh, so that's got to go like that. So I know that I need my bicycle up just a little bit higher. And you probably shouldn't fold your transfer, but I'm going to just to make sure I've got it lined up. If you do put a fold in it like I do, I just end up sticking it under some heavy books or something. It'll flatten right back out. But I'm pretty sure they don't recommend it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab some stick fast glue. And we're going to get started. I'm putting down the bicycle. If you haven't used stick fast glue, it is a very, very quick glue, hence the name. It does not move much after you set it down. Once it's down, it's down. There's not a lot of wiggle room, so just keep that in mind. There we go. And then I'm going to go in with a Posca. Now I've chosen one of my glitter Poscas because I already picked out the ribbon that I wanted. So I went through all my Poscas to figure out which one it is. And this is my closest one. So 
And just to let you know, we're not going to have all the colors. I'm going to say that before I even get going. But we will be having a few Poscas on the website. Um, I found a wholesaler for them. But I will not be selling the whole kits of them because we priced it out and my cost at wholesale prices is still more than what Amazon is. So it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, you know, of any value to you. You'd save money buying it off of Amazon as opposed to me having it here. So we did order some of the um, singles though, of a great big thick black ones, the great big thick white ones, um, and a couple others. So they should be in, in a couple days apparently. We'll see how fast it goes with, you know, shipping as it is. But uh, we're going to have a few on there. Hi, Cheryl. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter, but it's got like, it's got some serious glitter. You know, I love the teals, so teals and aquas. some on my hand so Posca's for those of you that don't know are an acrylic paint pen um, it's technically like a marker tip it kind of feels like you're using a Crayola marker but they are acrylic paint inside them so you don't need to top coat them um, this piece here it will end up being top coated because I'll be taking it to the sale um, and if they're putting it outside, the chalk paint in the back definitely needs a top coat. So I'll still do a top coat over top. You need a pure white Posca. You didn't get one in the set that you bought. I will have whites, but I don't know if it'll be the same size as what yours are, yours is. But, um, yeah, I'll have, I'll have some on the website. It's very weird that you didn't get a white in your set. That's very weird. How many colors came in your set? You'd figure black, white, red, blues, you know, the basic primal, prime colors, primal colors, prime colors would have been in there. Now this one here, because I'm using a glitter, the top coat that I will actually be using on this, usually I use the 3M um, clear spray. I think it's 3M. And you didn't get a white. Oh my goodness. Um, I want to say it's 3M. Um, or I use a Rust-Oleum. But because this has got the glitter, I'm actually going to spray paint it with engine paint. Has anyone done a top coat with engine paint? If you go into your like Canadian tire or... I don't know what you have down in the States, the American wheel. Um, <laughs> if you go into your um, into your auto shop and uh, you go into the paint section, they actually have engine paint that is a clear coat. And that's going to let the glitter still come through. It might even enhance it a bit. So there's my little tip for that. Otherwise, if you put a chalk top spray on it, it's going to dull it down. Um, it will kind of give my background a slight shimmer to it. But it's still going to look really pretty. But I don't want to lose the luster of my paint job on my bike. So, Alrighty. So I just went in with silver for the little metal bracket that goes up under the seat. I'm going to do silver on the handlebar as well. But I'm not sure if you'll even see it once we put the basket on. Just like so. And then I'm going to grab my wheels. I should have closed, maybe just set that aside. Where did I just set my wheels? Is everybody like looking at them? You can see them. I can't. <laughs> Somebody direct me to where I put my wheels. Seriously. Babe, did you see? Oh, there they are. So this is the wheels for it. And I'm gonna paint those before I put them on because they are dimensional and they kind of stick up. Um, the American wheel. <laughs> um, I, I don't know where that comes from. Uh, my dad, when we were kids, um, I don't know, okay, how do I do this? 
Um, when we used to say we wanted to go to McDonald's every, you know, once a month, we'd go see my grandmother in Ottawa and we'd get to go to McDonald's for lunch, right? So he called McDonald's Rotten Ronnie's, which I'm sure lots of people have. Um, well, then he started calling Canadian Tire the American Wheel. So it's probably not a real place. It was just his sarcasm. Have you heard anyone else say it that bad? No? Okay, so it was just my dad's weird thing. Crappy tire, yes. Crappy tire, yes. Yeah, don't don't know where it came from. We have an odd sense of humor, our family, so. To the right of me. <laughs> Mark calls it the American wheel. Is that what you're saying, Tina? So it must come from somewhere. Perfect for the USB store. <laughs> Oops, that's the silver again. I guess I didn't grab a black. My silvers, if, you, if you've if you ordered Posca's and you got silvers, it's kind of misleading because I usually just look at the cap color. But for the glittery ones, you have to go buy the little tab on the side that isn't really a pen tab for your pocket or whatever. Um, but it's kind of misleading. So I've done that a few times that I've grabbed the wrong one. So I'm just going to put black tires on. I'm not going to bother doing the white wheel yet. I'll probably go in and put some little lines after. An old popsicle stick here. That's better. Rotten Ronnie's from McDonald's, yeah. So today I actually had lined up several lives, like several. I had the vintage sign that I was going to do. I have, ooh, did you guys see the new wings? Tina did wings on a live last night and uh, she asked me about cutting them. She paid a fortune for hers, just saying. Um, and uh, she asked me if I've cut them and I said, well, I have the transfer for it, but I didn't really get around to cutting it. It was a plan at one point, but. So I've cut that. I've got a whole live planned on that. But I ended up loading stuff onto the website and uh, filling orders and just didn't get to them all. So, but this one was a must. I was so excited to get this transfer. So. Um, cutouts we got George in August. Got him in July. And we, I don't think we started them up till August because I was too scared of them. Um, we didn't really start selling them till probably October, I think it was. Um, we had a big craft sale was what we tried it out for first, I guess. Um, we did all our fall stuff. And uh, we realized that, uh, that it was going to be a bit of a hit. So that's when we started that. Posca's... Um, I think I ordered those after Christmas. So I haven't been using them all that long. And to be totally honest, the first time I got them, I'd seen another crafter rave about them. And I got them, and then I took them out and I used them. And you could probably scroll back in one of the lives where I use them for the first time. And I'm just like, it's just like coloring. <laughs> oh, yeah, Posca. Um... Yeah, I wasn't thrilled with it, but the more I'm getting into the smaller detail pieces and I don't know, they're just, they're kind of fun now and relaxing. If you're someone that likes those adult coloring books with all the patterns and that stuff, it's kind of like that, but you know, taking it up in a little notch because you're adding dimension and stuff. So I'm really like, I love them now. I have, well, I can show you, I have probably almost every color now. So, 
these whoops these ones are the originals they come out with they have let's see does it say how many mil this is a five mil one and it's got a rounded they call it the bullet tip and I've got like white I've got an extra white I have an extra white Karen if you want to buy an extra white off me um, I have creams I have skin tones um, then it goes down to these guys here, which are a little more pointed. I thought they were going to be a really fine point when I bought them. Um, they're called a three millimeter. And then we went down because I was really looking for the fine point and I got the, I think these are called a one mil or a 1.07 or something. I can't read it. Um, but it's more of a fine tip. See how it's very pointed. And then when I found those, I found the glitters. So the glitters are the ones that have the silver dots on the end and they kind of have a silvery wrapper. Those are glitters. And shimmers are, these ones are more metallic. If they're black and have the color band on them, they are my metallic ones. So I have two, four, six, seven, eight of those. And then these ones are fluorescent. They're very, very vibrant. I was looking for the most vibrant red that they had. It's not a vibrant red. Don't buy it for that reason. The other ones are very cool. The pink, the yellow, the orange. But the red is more of a orangey based red. So it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. But I still love them. And then we have the great big 7 mils. Pardon me? The 7 mil is a bullet tip as well. And now we've got the ones coming in that we'll have on the website is an 8 mil, And it's going to have a flat side on it. Which I haven't tried yet. So, But we're going to have a few of those for on the website. There's Karen says she's jealous of you. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. I don't know what you say to that. but <laughs> um, Yeah. I, I don't even know if my husband knew I had that many. So... <laughs> He's sitting across the room now going, oh no. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab my stick fast. And I'm just going to figure out exactly what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and line up my spokes. So that's what you call them, right? Spokes on the tire. I'm going to line up two of my spokes so that at least they're resting on the bar. So I'm just going to figure out which two it is. I'm going to put a little drag down it. A good little swirl in the center and then I'm gonna line it back up and that's just gonna help hold it there we go now this one here does not have as much de uh, as much you know to hook to so I'm gonna make sure I definitely go up the spoke and touch the top of that tire so I'm gonna do some in the center Go up the spoke and make sure I get some on that tire. I didn't buy them all at once, guys. I definitely, you know, bought a pack at a time kind of thing. But I craft so much that, you know, I just had to. It was a must, dear. It was a must. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next thing I've got here is the little um, foot pedal and the gear. I'm going to do the gear in silver. Yeah, I'll hold it by the pedal. Posca is what I was amazed by. You know, I used to color with Crayolas or whatever, right? Before obviously, but um, never on the wood. But I was very impressed by how if you make a mistake with a Posca and you let it dry and you color over it with another color, it doesn't blend at all. I love that, as long as it's fully dry. That I was very, very impressed by. Um, another thing that I love about them is that you can use them on fabric. I haven't tried it yet, but I am going to. I'm thinking I need to grab an old army bag. We should have a one. We still have an army bag, don't we, babe? Up in the attic? Tina's got the same thing going on with Mark. He doesn't really know how many markers she's got. Either. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Um, 
I think we have an old army bag. And when I was a teenager, I loved decorating my army bag. That was my overnight bag. I'd like to do one up for Maya and just take all the Poscas to it and doodle all over it. And I think that'd be fun. Yeah, there's no bleeding at all. It doesn't. Like when you color it and you stop on the wood, it doesn't just keep going with it. So now I'm going to put a little dollop down here. But if you haven't tried Poscas, um, maybe you'd like to wait until we get ours in in a few days and just order one and just try it. See if you like it before you order the big set because they are not cheap. That I can tell you. It wasn't quite dry when I stuck my finger there. So there's our bicycle so far. Isn't it cute? Oh, you can see that shimmer there. Check out that shimmer. All right. Now we have a little seat that's already on it. If you want and you like a little seat, maybe you, I don't know, for whatever reason, you like that style of seat, you can just paint that seat. I'm going old school with the banana seat. It's a bit bigger. And I'm going to paint it black as well. Izzy says she has to get a set. Izzy has to get a set. Yeah, they're becoming a must-have, I think, amongst the crafters. I don't know when they first came out with these. Oh, you'll love them. I know you will, but if you want to just buy one when I get them in, I'll let you know when they're on the website. and Or you can let me know ahead of time and I can put one aside before it even hits the website because they might go fast. I've only got five of the big ones coming in i think Brittany's already called dibs on one i'm calling dibs so that'll be three of those that are going on the website um that's the big fat um with the flat edge because we haven't tried it yet right so we each need one christine says hi from alberta oh hi from alberta awesome welcome christine um and then uh, i'd have to look on my bill what the other ones were but i know i got black white and i think gold in another color And it was just one of the suppliers has them, but that's all they had for singles right now. But to buy the kits was like, seriously, I would be spending more money buying them at my price than they are on Amazon. So it's just not reasonable. So I'm going to take the little handle grip. And actually, I think I might go in with the same color as the seat. I know they're usually black or brown or something like that, but... I want those etch lines to really pop and put a little more color to it. I should have had my sticky board. If you put tape down on a board, then it's easier to hold them. Okay. And then we've got our flower basket. Now, with your bicycle comes two different baskets, okay? Um, one you can, you know, put on there and you can put whatever you want in it. The other one has the flowers. But what I've come to realize is if you take this one actually and you tuck it in behind there, like so. I'm going to have to pull it out and put some glue. But if you put one in behind... And it slides right in behind the wheel and it bumps right up to that, what's that called on a bicycle, dear? Under the steering wheel? Do you, have, do you know Fork. bike terms? Fork. The forks? Yeah, I guess it's the forks. Um, if you snug it right in there and then put this basket on top, it's going to hold it a little more steady. Keep forgetting the time difference. Oh, sorry about that. I should put Eastern Standard Time when I do that, I guess. Hi, Verilyn. I got to see a smidget of Verilyn's live today. Not much because George was screaming. But I just put a few, few drops in there. It's not going to hold the whole thing. But with the pressure of the tire there and, you know, being glued there, it's going to hold. Stick fast is awesome. So, All right. So that's going to just kind of help hold my basket. And by doing that, it's also going to give it a little more dimension, I find. So by having it in behind, can you see how it kind of sticks out in behind? I think that kind of makes it look more rounded and give it more shape. But that's just my opinion. You guys can 
do how you want. So I'm going to take brown for the basket and I'm going to paint the outside edge. Just like so. And then I'm going to paint this guy as well. Where did I just put that handle grip? Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is where Posca's comes in super handy because you could do all that that I did with paintbrush, no problem. But when you get pieces that have the details like these flower pots is where you're going to really enjoy the Posca's. How are you feeling today, Verilyn? Did you have a she's, good day? Yep, yeah, it's that's the thing, right? We just gotta push through, concentrate on, keep focused on it, I guess, on the good stuff and keep working. Sometimes chatting with everybody online kind of makes us forget our problems too, so. On my middle finger, this one here. That was my mom's ring with the uh, the sapphires and the diamonds, or were you talking about this one here? Because that was my mom's too. She's trying to Tina, are you writing? Yeah, no. <laughs> Tina's writing down a list of everything you want. When is it that you're coming down? And where are you coming from? So now I'm going to take my green Posca and I'm going to do all the little details. And I probably should have brought glasses, but it'll be fine. The second one, okay. Well, if you own the same one, can you tell me, is it real gold? Is it silver? I don't know. Is it real diamonds? I don't know. Found it in my mom's jewelry box. She used to wear it often, but. You could. You very well could. Oh, um, he's. Can you guys hear Chris when he when he's talking? He's reading the comments out for me because I missed some of them, um, which is nice. He doesn't. He doesn't always do that. Well, he's not always home for the lives either, but uh, it's kind of helpful. Um, but he was saying, you were saying, he was saying that you were saying that you could add silk flowers and yeah, that would look really pretty in there as well. Last minute, I actually did run over and look at my flowers and think, what do I have? But they were all a little big. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. We'll talk after. I'm going to grab a bright yellow. the center of my flowers. I'm going to remember not to push down on the thing because sometimes they bubble. Make sure you do that on something else. Amazing if you want to put polka dots on things guys. These are so cool. Before that I was having to use a stylist. I think that's what they call them. Um, I don't even know where mine is right now. It was here. Oh yeah, last night. Um, one of these things that has the little ball on the end, they used to use it for toll painting and stuff. Um, that's what I used to have to use to do my polka dots, but, oh, are you guys neighbors? Um, yeah, Tina's in Ontario. I know that, but I was wondering where Izzy was. And let's see, do I have a coral color? Because I grabbed a thick coral, but let's see if that's, yep, that's coral. I grabbed one earlier, but it was one of the thick ones, and I don't think I could do the details in there as well with it.
if your Posca is coming out a little, oh, provincial neighbors. <laughs> if your Posca is coming out um, a little too liquidy, sometimes shaking it will help. And then you push it down and it comes out a little more concentrated. So for petals, I don't know about you guys, I don't go back and forth, I kind of go in little circles. Just like so. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I'm gonna grab that yellow one more time and just brighten up that center. The pastel -y ones, the really light ones, I do like to give two coats just to brighten it up a little more. Actually, I might turn that guy right there into a daisy. Let's just do them all yellow or a black eyed Susan maybe and put a black dot in there just to give it a little bit of difference. See how that looks. I'll have to wait till it dries. And then I have another pastel pink. This is the typical pink I think that comes with all the kits, except for maybe Karen's, because Karen's got a weird kit. <laughs> Did they give you a double of any other color? Like I just can't imagine not getting a white. It's kind of a sleazy sales pitch, making you come back again because they missed out on a, a basic color. Too cute. Excuse me. And I think this little guy back here, we're going to color him yellow too. And put the little black dot. So I'll come back to the black dots, but stick fast. Ivory and tan, but no white. Oh, if you got the ivory and the tan, then you got the, um, the skin tones. And yeah, I don't think there was a white in that set. Because I did get a set that had um, the ivory and the tan. Now, there's many sets. Maybe not. But um, I did get one for the ivory and the tan. Purposely. Oh, you spend too much on launch day. Yeah. Tell me about it. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Um, but we are going to have some awesome things that go with all those new, we're going to do the butterflies, we're going to do the gnomes, we're definitely going to be doing, um, the lemons, so many good things came out on launch day of, uh, Chalk Couture. There we go. This one here, I forgot to show you this one. This one here is the pen one. I don't know what they call it because they all, they call them all paint pens, so. Um, it says it's a 1MR, a 0.7MM. So, so that is my bicycle. Oh, except for my little handle grip. Oh, and to let you know, I think I'm down to one, maybe two, um, of the stick fast. And I don't know when I'll be getting more of those in. So I just wanted to give you a heads up if you if you have a bulk order planned. I apologize. We will be getting more in at some point, but uh, that's all my supplier had at the moment. The bunny for the cottontail? Uh, the bunny for the cottontail. Oh, Cottontail Farms. That's the old transfer, right? Yeah. Babe, isn't it sitting right over there? Isn't there a bunny and a carrot sitting right there? Yeah, right there by the light. 
That's Cottontail Farms right there. Um, I don't know if I got him on the website yet. If not, he'll be on tonight because that's why he's sitting out. This is the bunny for Cottontail Farms, and we even did the little carrot that goes with him. Yeah, I knew you got a stick fast because Brittany called just to make sure. She's like, is our totals right on the stick fast? So I didn't know it was you, but I knew somebody had ordered stick fast today. So yeah, we did do a count at that point and all right, so now I'm gonna do basically everything down, all in black. I wish I had a shimmer paste. Did they ever come out with a shimmer in the teal? Does anyone know? I don't think I have one. But like I haven't bought paste in ages other than silver I bought the other day. I remembered. Um I would really love a shimmer teal paste. I know they came out with pinks and, you know, every other color, but my paste has been sitting here open and I shouldn't have done that because it's drying out. So I'm going to give it another spritz of water. <laughs> Did you see Brittany glue them the other day? Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, she got herself really good. Karen says it took 2.4 seconds. <laughs> oh, Brittany got herself real good. Like, she didn't even notice that she was glued down, babe. And then she pulled it off and she's like, ouch! She said it was the hardest thing not to, you know, slip and say a little swear word. <laughs> no I am using um, one of our own surfaces. Um, we made a new tag. I'll show you it as soon as I peel this up. But it's a scallop tag is what, we, what we've made. So that it's got the same fancy top to it as this. Peel the shimmer frost. Ooh, that might do it. Yes. Kathy that would be Kathy. Might have, eh? She's like, could you hear that? Because she said you could hear the skin going <laughs> off of it. <laughs> oh, she even said this morning, she's like, Mom, my finger still hurts. <laughs> but she held it down and she squeezed it and she was talking. And <laughs> oh, she was glued good. It was, it was funny. I sound like such an uncaring mommy, but it was funny. There we go. And then we're gonna peel and reveal the ooh la la's. And the crowd goes wild. Check that out. Isn't it cute? Now I guess I could have technically done this first and brought my bicycle down closer and then this would have been like the road, but I think it's super cute. If I was to do it again, I'd probably bring it down just a touch more because I'm like so close up here. See that spacing up there? And then I've got like, you know, a little bit more spacing here. So hindsight, you know, <laughs> that is the adorable tag. So we have the tags on the website. We have the bikes on the website and, you know, we've got to finish it off though with a bow because it is a door hanger. So just let me wipe up my fingers so I don't get everything all mucked up and I better close up this paste before it's a brick but I could kind of picture in fact I'll probably end up doing more of these for the craft show that I'm going to this spring um, March 12th I think it is um, in Smith Falls and uh, I'll probably make up a few more of these because I think they will be a good seller and I'll do them in different color bicycles Aw, you're so sweet, Kathy. 
come you didn't read out the compliment? You read out everything else. Everybody loved your stuff. <laughs> See? He doesn't compliment and he can't even read someone else's compliment. Tina says it's so cute. And Izzy says it's pretty. <laughs> Cheryl says she loves it. Karen says it's so cute. <laughs> it's just nice to hear his voice saying those things. Thank you, girls. <laughs> ah, oh, too good. funny. <laughs> oh, too funny. Uh, let's see if I can find can the you end here. Ah, <laughs> eh? uh, it's hilarious. No, thank you very much for the compliments. I'm glad you're enjoying this stuff. So this wire might be a little thick for it, but it's what I had handy. And my clippers. Let's see. Sometimes I use just a, a piece of cord or something, um, jute or hemp rope, something like that. But sometimes I just like to go in with a wire instead. Izzy says very soft. Loud. <laughs> right, babe? That's right. Can't That's right. Get a word as, as well. Can't get a word in there anyway, so you might as well be quiet. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take this again like I did the other night. I'm going to pinch it with my needle nose pliers. Probably should have grabbed my little handled ones because then my fingers would work better with it. But and I'm just gonna actually I did grab them. They're right there. So let me let me try that again. I got itty bitty ones. They'll work better. So I'm just gonna pinch it and I'm gonna twirl it. And just keep wrapping it down. And it's just supposed to be a messy little coil. And then if that hurts your fingers, <laughs> like it just did mine, push it down with a tongue compressor or something like that. Okay? I think it just kind of gives a neat little rustic look to it. Okay? Then this part here I'm just going to bring down after I put my bow on and then it'll coil in behind it. It'll just twist in on this one. But I find it's a little more sturdy than using the jute. All right, so let's move you guys out of the way. This is the ribbon that I chose. I thought it was super fun. I actually bought it for the reason of peeps. I can't wait to make Easter peeps and have this. <laughs> yeah, I was going to use my sleeve. It doesn't work that well with wire. It's automatic that you pull down your sleeve. Do you use your sleeve for pulling stuff out of the oven as well? Because I do that too. Um, but it doesn't work for well for wire. I've learned my lesson. It does poke through. <laughs> I bought this ribbon thinking it's so pretty for with peeps. I can't wait to do peeps this color. And then at the dollar store, I found this Everyone ribbon. This ribbon I thought was kind of pretty. So I'm going to do two layers in my bow. This one here, I think I was an Amazon order. But I love the teals, so. So I'm not going to do the fork method tonight. I've got to use the fork again sometime, but I haven't. Says she's never used those Actually, babe, is my pitchfork right around the corner? You want to grab that for me? Who wants to see the pitchfork done? Who wants to see me make a bow with my pitchfork? Karen, Karen says she, she can't make a bow to save her life. Oh, Karen. Karen, Karen, Karen. Have I got something for you? Have you got a pitchfork? I know it sounds silly, but do you have a pitchfork? Um, <clears throat> Mavis, that's that's sometimes on here. I don't know if we've seen Mavis's name tonight. Um, she uses a potato masher now that I've taught her how to use it on a fork. But... Uh, Tina and Mavis, they and Cheryl, um, no, not Cheryl, Barb, um, got lessons last time I was in Brothel. I did, or in Smith Falls. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, last time I was in Smith Falls for the show, I did private lessons teaching them. Um, have a you don't have a pitchfork, girl. Neither does Tina. <laughs> Tina, come on. I heard you say you've got three sheds out back and one at the. 
uh, trailer, and you're telling me you don't own a pitchfork? <laughs> That's my pitchfork, by the way. No, it's not. This one's mine. You told me that you don't want it because it, yeah, it has it, the broken end. It used to be mine. Though. It used to be yours. <laughs> now it's mine. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do, girls. And it works the same with your small forks as well, okay? So, like, I did the most hilarious video. I am, like, patting myself on the back. I did the most hilarious video. It was, right? It was the best video. And Facebook. I don't know, but um, my video was hilarious. It wasn't even planned to be funny. It just came out really funny. Um, toot, 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 the old horn, right? Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to hold your ribbon in behind. Let me bring it out. You're going to hold your ribbon in behind. You're going to bring it around the front. You're going to take the top tail here, the one that you just brought around front. You're going to go in behind. You're going to tuck it in the middle. Now, I know a pitchfork doesn't have an exact middle, but you're just going to go as close to the center as you can. You're going to go up. Pardon? Nobody has pitchforks. Well, you need pitchforks, girls. As soon as the warm weather comes and garage sales are done, grab a pitchfork. So you're going to come up. Because it's pitchfork, I'm going to go on the opposite side this time, but normally with a fork, I just go up the same center hole. I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to cut off my tail here about the same length. Okay. Then I'm going to take these two tails and I'm going to tie them. Okay. And then you're going to pull. Pull, 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 pull. And then you're going to pull them downwards. Okay. Pull, 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 pull. Then you're going to slide your bow off and set them aside. And that is how you make the perfect bow. Almost every time, guys. Almost every time. They are so easy and they're kind of fun. Oh, there's a small fork. There's a small fork? Yeah, under the bow. Yeah, that's what I said. I have a little one. I'll show them in a minute how to do a little one, too. They might have a small fork like that. Yes, they probably. That's a serving spork, baby. That's a serving fork. I don't have my cowboy hat on to in my coveralls to do my whole hick routine. <laughs> uh, a piece of straw hanging out of my mouth would have been hilarious, too, right? Mm. Right, Lori? Uh, so, anyways, there is my pretty bow. And because it's a wired ribbon, you can twist it however you want. But isn't that cute? And then I'm always going to take my ends. Some people like to just do an angle cut. I much rather do a dovetail. I just think it looks a little classy. And it's got to look classy. There we go. That's a thingamabob, according to Ariel. <laughs> yeah. I call everything that I don't know the word for a thingamabob, or a thingamajig, or a doodad, or whatchamacallits. I know in the States, whatchamacallits, a chocolate bar. It's not. It's anything you don't know the word for. So to help sit, keep this in, I just realized what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread that through my little loop-de-doo there. It's going to help keep it anchored better so it doesn't move around. Just like so that's gonna hold it in there better I just winged that and it's it's my new thing that's your language too <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna have to take this wire and I'm gonna thread it through my little loop back there just like so and then I'm gonna bring this back down and I'm gonna shove it back through there and then I'm gonna just twist it Just like so. And guys, I don't know about you, but I like my wire to look all twisted and mangled and all that stuff. I do it on purpose, guys. Well, it's going to happen anyway, so you might as well say it's on purpose. Um, but it looks rustic then, and I like that. So, 
I'll just let me slide that bow out of the way so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I've got this little tail here. I'm going to grab my thingamajigs. I'm going to squeeze it. And then I'm going to just kind of twist it in there just to kind of hold it. Don't want anybody to get poked on it. Yeah, Mark. Come on, get the woman a pitchfork already. If you can buy just the, can you buy just the fork part? Because that'd probably be handier. Although it'd probably be hold, hard to hold on to. So we have it like that. You can spread it out some more. It's not, but it's not supposed to be useful for you guys. It's supposed to be just useful for That's us. I think my tails are too long, guys. I could really crinkle them up, I guess. Maybe. Do I want to add more texture, maybe? Is that your tummy? Oh my goodness. Did you hear the thunder roll? <laughs> that was loud. All right, I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. I'm going to make another little layer of a bow. So he's, he's going to be too small. I need my pitchfork back again to have it about the same size. So here we go again, guys. This is not wired ribbon now. So this one's not going to be quite as, you know, easy to manipulate, I guess. But I'm going to hold it in the back. I'm going to go across the front. I'm going to pull my tail so that it's long enough. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go through that center. I'm going to go up and down. There you go. Ooh, cool. I'd like some wheels, the wagon wheels. They'd look pretty in front of my barn. And then I'm going to tie it. Pull it real, real tight. Real tight, people. Pull it real tight. And then pull it down. And then I'm going to slide it off. If you didn't see the video, you don't understand why I'm talking like that. And I apologize, but you missed a goodie. I don't even think I could remake the video. I don't think I could be that funny on purpose. All right. So now I would either glue them together so that they're going to be doubled up just to give it that extra little jazz. Or I think I'm going to take a tiny... Oh, I do have thinner wire. I'm going to take a little piece of wire and I'm just going to wire the two of them together. Hope I haven't been keeping you on too long. Any idea how long I've been on for, hun? I'm not on the stopwatch tonight, so I get to just hang out and relax and have fun. You remember that video? It was entertaining. Yes, that's the polite way of putting it. <laughs> My husband could not believe that I was such a fool. All right, so I'm just going to twist that wire and just hold it in place. You could use a zip tie too for that. And then these legs, I call them the legs of the bow. They're just going to hang down in between. They're going to need to be dovetailed as well. These are some dull scissors, man. Dovetail those as well. And that is my door hanger. What do we think? 
Do we like it? Are the, are the legs of it too crinkled? I think it's kind of pretty. Did you just say one side's kind of curled weird? You mean this? Oh, this one here? That's just about to pop the pleat the other way. There we go. Thank you. And it matches my bike pretty well, so. There we go. That is that. You can just play with it as much as you want. I, I tend to, to play with them a lot. All right, so that's that. Now, for those of you that don't have a pitchfork, because you're just too fancy. You're just too fancy to have a pitchfork, right? <laughs> For those of you that don't have one of them, you can grab your, your serving fork. It's a serving fork. Or, or maybe, as in Tina's case, Mark likes to eat with it because he's, like, very hungry. I don't know. Hopefully I'm not insulting him. But <laughs> you got your serving fork. And you're going to grab some ribbon. Now, should we go with some big ribbon? Or should we go with some small ribbon? Let's go with some big ribbon. I'm just gonna have to pull up, put up with my silliness for a minute. I'm gonna cut off a chunk of that ribbon. I don't even have a good slang going on tonight. And we're gonna hold up our seven fork. And you're gonna leave a little tail, okay? And then you're gonna take it around and you're gonna go over top. Now this ribbon's way too big, but that's okay. And you're gonna Stick it in the little hole from behind. And then you're going to go up. And you're going to go in the middle of those forks. See, in the middle. Right there in the middle. But if you have a serving fork and you're too fancy for a pitchfork, I'm pretty sure you know what the middle is. And then we're going to tie it. We're going to tie it real tight. Oh, there it's coming. The accent's coming out now. You're going to pull it real tight. And then you're going to hold it up to your bosom. And you're going to pull. And you're going to pull, 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 pull. I don't know about you, but that's all that my bosom's good for. <laughs> my husband's making weird faces at me again. I'm now I'm getting strange, he says. And then you pull it off. And then you give your little bow pieces a little pull there. And you've got the perfect bow. Tails are way too long, but you just trim them up. I'm trying to read the comments as I go along. But there's our pretty little bow. Look at that bow. All right. Okay. Now, somewhere in here, I'm pretty sure we got a regular fork. Now, y'all got a regular fork, right? Everybody's got a regular fork. If not, Dollar Store's got a regular fork. You're going to grab your regular fork and you're going to grab a little piece of ribbon and you're going to hold it in behind just like this okay then you're going to wrap it around then you're going to take that little leg whoops you're going to take that little leg and you're going to put it in the middle prong there right in the middle and you're going to pull them out Woo! and then you're going to go down through the center again Everybody see that? Came through the middle prong. Go up, go down, and all around. We're going to tie this baby up. And then you're going to give it a pull. Give a real good pull out straight to the sides, and then pull it towards you. Pull it real tight, okay? That's right, Karen. You keep your tongue, just bite it. Gina, bite it real hard. Gina. And that is your cute little bow. Because little bows are hard to make. Right? Okay. Now, just hold on to your panties. Keep those girdles up, ladies. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go grab the tiny, tiny ribbon. Let's see if we can find some tiny, tiny ribbon. The stuff that nobody likes. Because it's impossible to tie a bow with. Whoops. We're going to grab that teeny, tiny dollar store ribbon. This stuff, you know, 
you tend to just leave it dangly because it's too hard to do anything with. We're going to grab a piece of that. And then we're going to go back to you fancy city folk that have your little... Oops, that's a baby fork. That's not a fancy city fork. Where's my fancy city fork? Huh! I might be too hick. Oh, there, nope, that's a baby fork too. Baby forks work. Oh, there it is. There it is, those teeny tiny forks that all you fancy people like. What are you using for? Caviar, oysters, dunno. <laughs> so you're gonna grab your teeny tiny fork, which by the way, you can buy these at the dollar store, they're plastic. <laughs> And you're going to hold it in behind just like so, okay? I should just pause right now. I should just pause. And you guys should all go run to your kitchen and grab yourself a fork. Has anybody got a fork yet? Did anybody say, hold your panties on. i got to go grab my fork. Anybody got a fork? Who's got a fork? When I'm done this live, I'm hoping people are sending me pictures of their bows that they did with the fork, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I expect some picture. Karen, you better send me a picture. I know you got one of them fancy forks. I know you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You might have, might have a fancy fork, too. <laughs> All right, guys. Who's ready? Got our fancy fork from the dollar store. We're going to hold it in behind just like so. You're going to wrap it around. You're going to grab that end. Whoops. Wrap it around. I got a band-aid on my finger. It's making it a little difficult. And then you're going to shove it through that middle hole. Right through. Right through there. Come on, little fella. And you're going to pull them out. Then you're going to go up top and over. Oh, I missed. I missed. Dang. Dang, did you see that? I missed. Fork work. All right, let's try that again, because I missed. That, that bummed up finger there is giving me a hard time. All right, you got your fork. You got your ribbon. You're going to wrap it around. Keep it straight. Don't let it twist and turn. And then you're going to take that little ribbon, and you're going to stick it in that middle hole. Right. Come on, baby. Oh, brother. Come on. Well, oh, gosh, golly gee, what's going on with that? Huh, it's got a piece of wax or glue on the end, that's why. There we go. Try. Third time's charm, people. Third time's charm. Fork. Middle hole, Tina. Middle hole. That's what I'm talking about right there. Middle hole. <laughs> Hold up your fork. Wrap it around. Now that it's cut, it'll hopefully go through there much better. Hold it around. There we go. Right through there. Then we're going to grab that little piece there. And we're going to go pull it tight. Go up, down that middle hole again. See that? Right. Woo! Woo! Right down there. Then you're going to hold it on your fork, and you're going to tie it, just like you tie your sneakers. Just, just, down like that. Pull it real tight. Okay, don't pull too tight, because it's plastic fork in my break, but pull tight, okay? Karen just made one. Awesome! Yeehaw! Karen did it! And then you're going to pull it real tight, and you pull it towards real tight. And then when you slide it off, you're going to trim down your edges. Awesome! Those scissors are crap. That's what we call them down here is crap. Alright. I'm going to snip off our little ends. And look at that. Look at that teeny tiny bow. You know what that bow is good for? Peeps. We're going to love these guys. Get your forks. Make sure you're practicing. Because Easter's coming, and we're going to be doing peeps. And I think peeps need little tiny bows. And so go to the dollar store, guys. I'm back to my normal voice. <laughs> well, most of it. Um, go to the dollar store. Get that tiny 
crappy bow that most people don't want and grab a fork and we're going to make the cutest little bows for on our Easter decorations this year, guys. You're going to love it, okay? And for those that missed this live, that's it, that's all, man. They're just going to have to wing it because we're not going to do this all the time. <laughs> My husband will divorce me. <laughs> oh, howdy, yes. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this crazy, silly nonsense of a video. <laughs> but there's our bike with our bow. I think it's so cute. I love the scalloped edges on the on the um, the tag. Even if you don't see it with the bow, like for other projects as well. Like it's just a little fancier, right? So if you like that, it's on the website. So is the bicycle. Um, hopefully tomorrow we get to jump on and work on either the wings or the vintage sign or, oh goodness. Oh, I wanted to do the big truck too. I wanted to do, you know the truck door hanger? Let me grab it so you know what I'm talking about. I wanted to do the truck door hanger. This guy right here. I wanted to do him. First I was going to do him in like white or something. And then I was going to do my St. Patty's ribbon for a bow up top of the vintage truck. I think it'd be super cute with the truck insert of St. Patty's Day, which I don't seem to have handy. That's the letters that go on the back. Um, but now I think, because we're getting closer to Easter and I don't do a whole lot of um, St. Patty's decor really in the house. I think I want to have this one done in maybe the teal as well. Something like that. <laughs> Y'all come back soon now. Yep. Um, and do it up for Easter that way. So I need to do that one as well. Oh, oh, need the wings too. Kathy. Um, Kathy, I, I was thinking about doing the wings a while ago. I think we talked about it. And then I never got around to it. I've been so busy. Um, and then Tina went last night and she did a live with the wings and she said, I th what was it, Tina? Like a hundred bucks that you paid plus the shipping on it. It was crazy. It was crazy, but she didn't know about me at that time. So anyway, she asked me what it would cost for wings. So let's see if I can grab my set of wings. So I went ahead and I cut out the wings and priced them out. And I think we're looking... I don't remember exactly, 25, 26 bucks maybe, something like that on the website. Um, but we have the set of wings. Aren't they cute? So I'm going to kind of take Tina's idea and just switch it, tweak it a little bit, make it my own personal touch. Um, but we're going to do the wings one of these nights too. So that's another plan. Over 100 bucks plus taxes from the States. Yeah, crazy, eh? So there's the wings. They do fit the transfer. Which... Sorry? Tina said 2687. 26 Tina's, <coughs> Tina's got it all checked out. So uh, we got to do those wings one of these days. I have so many projects to do, guys. I'm just like, ah, so excited about Easter coming and spring. Um, Barb would like some owl stuff done, which we already have an owl door hanger that was for Valentine's Day that I'd like to get done too. Oh my gosh, guys. So much to do with so little time. You did the wings on canvas and frame for your for your friend who lost her daughter. Oh, that's sweet. You want them for sure. I did the wings, I don't know if you just remember, on a mirror. Um, I did a great big mirror. I painted the frame white. It was a gold, old-fashioned, like, antique mirror. And then I etched it on. And we used etching cream with the transfers, which works really good. If anyone hasn't tried that, you need to try that. I don't think I have a bottle of etching cream handy to show you what it is. Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? No, nope, I don't. Um, but you can buy etching cream and you put it on and then you rinse it off. Um, and it kind of like, well, it etches the glass is what it does. It scuffs up the glass. It takes the finish off a little bit and it makes it like frosted glass. It's so gorgeous. So I made that for my daughter when we first got the wings. But... Uh, Yes, bunnies, bunnies galore and peeps. And I can't wait to do peeps that are like in the yellows and the pinks and the teals. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much fun. Um, also, Brittany created her own tear tray today and we've done a test cut on that, which turned out really well. Um, we have so much stuff coming up, guys. It's gonna be crazy. So um, 
if you got nothing better to do, you know, check on the website every once in a while. See the new stuff coming out. I'm trying to put it all as in February release. Um, typically it would have been St. Patty's release, but I'm going to just keep loading it in there so you guys see it all as it goes up. And I just keep creating because I'm having too much fun. So let me know if you're interested in anything. Posca should be on the website in a few days. Um, I think that's all the details. I think I'm down to one, maybe two stick fast. Other than that, we're pretty stocked on everything. So that's it. That's all, guys. Tear tray. Yeah. I'll, we've got to, um, I'll do a live on it and then we'll put it on the website as well. So I have an idea um, that brings us to hot chocolate topics. Mavis, if you're watching on the replay, because I don't see you on here. The other day you reminded me that um, you were out skiing and I was like, oh yeah, it's still hot chocolate season. <laughs> I had them on the computer. They're ready to go. And then I got so busy, I forgot about them. Ooh, the link for the store. Absolutely. Um, sorry, my sleeve's holding me back here. The link for the store is right there. We ship all across Canada and U.S. If you are in the U.S., anybody, um, keep in mind that the prices are in Canadian. When you go to checkout, it will change it over to U.S. You're welcome for the bow demonstration. I hope it made you giggle. Um, it does change over to U.S. at, at the checkout time, and you're going to find that it's actually quite a bit cheaper because of the exchange rate. It's not that you're my favorite, even though I love you all. Um, but the exchange rate makes it cheaper for the U.S. Um... So yeah, we do ship all over Canada and U.S. Right now, um, I'm running a little slow. Things are taking me Alberta. Yeah, I shipped out quite a few people out there, actually. Um, right now, I'm running a little bit slow. I think I'm about five to seven days on most orders, like depending where it falls, how busy I am, right? But that seems to be what I'm running at right now, and that's because my laser is is a little irritable and cranky, but as soon as the new one comes in, we're going to be whipping stuff out much faster again. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Also, if you want to get your name on the list for text alerts, because Facebook doesn't always give notifications very well, Bye, um, I can give you the link. Bye, babe. Bye. He's saying goodbye to everybody. I can give you the link to get on that text list. So basically what I do is I just text you out um, when we're going live and I don't bug is about anything if we were doing a big launch of a whole lot of stuff at once I might drop in a, a, a little blurb that just says hey we're doing a big launch but right now I'm just trickling stuff out as I go because that's how George is working for me um George being the laser so yeah I, I you're not going to get hounded with text messages unless it's a day that I'm really busy doing a lot of lives but that's the only time I text so all right guys have a great night. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.